and welcome back to another video today we're here once again on blender 2.9 and today i'm going to make a tutorial about how to make a valentine's day heart inside blender and which today's valentine's day so happy valentine's day again and i guess every holiday in this channel we have a celebration so why don't we apply this the same into valentine's day and today in blender we're simply going to make a depix a pixelized heart and a polished heart um it's going to be uh, one technique I'm going to use in remesh modifier. Uh, if you want to further look in that, I probably will leave um, a timestamp down below in the description if you want to check it out. Then, without further ado, let's delete everything. Actually, let's don't delete the default cube because you know what will happen if that happens. So yeah, um, default cube we named this heart. And by that, let's hide this first so we can add in our inference, a reference image. Not inference image, very weird, okay. I don't really have a proper name down below. And as you can see, I'm pretty messy down in my uh, download tab, so never mind. And so let's go to the material view and rotate this 90 degrees um, on the X axis. So now let's actually go to the front or so graphic view and the front or so graphic view is let this or so graphic view like it, it tricks me in my mouse so it's kind of like town not ton twisting i can't even properly talk now so yeah and now like on the heart is still a cube so we don't want a default cube here so we're not killing the default cube we're just reforming it into a kind of sphere like shape yeah and now let's apply so now you can have a technique of pointing the heart's little edge here on the little edge of the cube. Um, so yeah, actually let's also make it a mirror modifier. Uh, we don't wanna use a mirror modifier here because it's not as easy as the auto mirror one. And if you don't have the auto mirror add-on, just click preferences and search for auto mirror and then you will have like a mesh auto mirror here. So yeah i already have it on my blender so let's go to edit auto mirror and let's do x-axis and let's rotate this 180 degrees so make it on the left to make it more comfortable and let's go in front again and do this so now basically you have to point these vertices oh, okay uh, point these vertices onto a certain point in the heart on the heart uh, it doesn't matter where because we are going to add some um some little you know subdivisions you could say i guess okay so this is actually a loop cut and loop cuts are actually just like this wait okay shift s to make the cursor into the origin and now let's also point this up here by the way don't uh don't worry about the kind of the feeling here if it's not right if it's not 100 percent pointed because we're later going to use the other modifier so yeah when you go to the this side of the view you can see something really strange so we don't want that to happen instead this is some kind of weird uh catastrophe so yeah let's delete all these faces not all these vertices by doing the um wireframe view and delete faces and now let's also do another mirror modifier on the uh okay let's actually apply this first and do another mirror modifier but this time on the y-axis perfect so now you can see this is a proper heart looking nice and this vertices is standing out really awkwardly and weirdly so why don't we do um the okay this one and then kind of knock it in a little bit something like that yeah that looks pretty good mm, so now you can see this heart is not very High poly, since it's still very low poly enough to be considered a low poly art style. So now let's add a subdivision modifier. And as you can see now, it's more polished and 
uh, better. So let's do the subdivision of six. And as you can see, yay, that's a heart. But I don't stop here because this is not my dream to make a uh, polished little heart. My dream is to make something like uh, a pixelized one, right? That's for the other, uh, for the modifier thing. And now let's apply all these modifiers first. Not duplicate, that's horrible. Let's apply the modifier. And let's do the remesh modifier. Um, wait. Okay, by blocks. Now, as you can see, this is already. I uh, can say, okay. Yeah, this is looking okay, but we don't want that to happen. By the way, click blocks instead of voxel because uh voxel is kind of looking looking still high poly but uh, as more like weird subdivision surfaces which it can also which can also be very art style like um so yeah you can also use that one if you want and uh, by adjusting the arc tree arc tree i guess you can adjust the number of cubes on this big object so i'm pretty satisfied hearing threshold uh, okay yeah, actually, let's don't mess with this threshold. This is already good enough. So, yeah, we made our heart. Now, let's apply the final textures to this material. Let's do red heart material. Nice. Let's kind of do some roughness to make it nicer and uh, uh, specular a little bit lower. And yeah, we're done with our hearts for today. Maybe this one we can change our texture a little bit. So it does not look very weird and strange and all. So we don't give it any uh, roughness or anything because it'll mess up the cube texture. Actually, let's do a little bit halo, a ran a little bit. And yeah, that looks really nice. Two hearts for Valentine's Day. So yeah, for ending this video, uh, if you find this tutorial interesting or whatnot like helpful then you be sure to please leave a like down below or leave a comment if you want to see more like this so thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always thanks for watching have a good day bye